We have just arrived in the province of Mpumalanga. It took us about four and a half hours to get here from Belito. We are spending the weekend on a guest farm called Dusk to Dawn. We are here with friends of ours, Yanka and Andreas. This farm actually belongs to Yanka's parents. So stay tuned to see what it looks like, explore with us, and there might be a few cute alpacas as well. just checked into our room it's a separate building called Robin's Rest it is amazing from a massive lounge good looking bedroom and a huge bathroom and it's self catering so there's a kitchen as well we are very happy we've got a nice view of the animals out on the farmlands a small dam next to us a nice wraparound deck we're gonna have a bit of a bra later it's 20 to 6 now and it's quite dark outside so we think we'll show you around tomorrow we'll see you guys again in the morning Good morning, it's the next day and it's our one and only full day here at Dusk to Dawn Guest Farm. We had such a lovely night last night, we were out on the deck having a braai and then we watched a movie and I have to tell you about the bath. It is right next to a massive window and last night was full moon so as you look out of the window it's like you're taking a bath outside under the moon. It was amazing it was a really nice sunrise this morning and we had our morning coffee but we actually quite hungry and it's time for breakfast and this place includes breakfast as well so let's go see what they have to offer if you feel lonely i will be here and waiting for the sun it's getting closer but it will I'm having the savory toast. It looks amazing. It smells good. I'm having the mushroom stack. It looks so pretty. Just check it out. Enjoy. We just had a lovely breakfast here at the Owl's Haven restaurant and the menu is so unique. Usually 90% of the guests here are from overseas and they have all these different flags. So they'll put the flag of the country that the guests are from on the table, which is so cool. This is where we just had breakfast. There's a nice pool and a dam just outside the building. And now we're going to take a bit of a walk around the farm and check out the animals. This is snowy. This is snowy. Andreas and guys thank you so much for this weekend <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool and how many alpacas do you guys have? We've got nine alpacas they've all got names the white one's Robin and we've got Nutmeg there from his coat color we call them Nutmeg and Tipex at the back because he's got a white stripe across his face. Monty's got the gorgeous blue eyes name was given to him before we got him we've got Annabelle and she's the mom of three of them and Benny, he's our old grandpa. We've got Snowy over there. He's the youngest of all of them. He's having a nice time chowing the plants and the flowers. And right in the distance, we've got Chloe and Stardust, her son, the black one. Behind you. We 
have come into Johnny's Ark where there are chickens, little goats, pigs, ducks, and it's really cool. Awesome place to bring your kids and your family. I think such a cool family outing to the farm. We have found the rose garden where the rose came from that was in our room. It took a 10 minute drive from the guest farm to where they actually have a wedding venue. It is on a separate farm, but it is stunning. We are now in the outside section amongst the trees with wooden benches. It's really cool. I can imagine yeah. everything decorated and perfect for your wedding day. It's so beautiful. We'll show you the inside venue now as well. We are done at the wedding venue. We're going back to dusk to dawn. Let's go. We just got back from the wedding venue and we're just gonna chill for a little bit in our unit. And then half past three, we are going on a game drive. Game drive. We just wanna say a quick thank you to Dusk to Dawn Guest Farm for making this video possible as they gifted us a two night stay on the farm. Which brings me to History with Craig. This is Janka's parents' family farm. They are fifth generation descendants of German missionaries who settled here in 1870. This farm makes an amazing halfway stop between Kruger National Park, Gauteng and KwaZulu Natal. This farm has won numerous AA accommodation awards and even entered the Hall of Fame in 2010. We are on an amazing game drive. The sun's about to set here in Pumalanga. We've just spotted some wildebeest and blesskorka. Back at the farm after an awesome game drive, we saw wildebeest, blessed book. Uh, what else did we see? Impala, Impala. Now we are at a sunset spot back at dusk to dawn. Sadly, it's our last morning on the farm. Last night when we came back from the sunset, we lit the fire, we had a nice braai, and then we turned off all the lights around the house and we saw the most amazing stars. I don't know when last I saw the Milky Way so clear. We thought we'd give you our final thoughts on this farm. Dust to Dawn kind of got its name from overnight travelers on the way somewhere. So they get here at dusk, they stay overnight and at dawn they continue their journey but there's so much more to this place and especially now when international travel isn't allowed they really depend on local travelers to come through make a weekend out of it it's four hours from Belize. it's four hours from Pretoria. it's four hours from Kruger National Park it's so central there's just so much you can do with you and your family here 
in That's one right. day, we saw from alpacas right through to zebras. Mm. If you couldn't make it to the shops on your way here, they actually have a deli with pre-cooked meals. I think you can just throw it in the microwave or the oven or something like that. So that is something to just keep in mind when you come here. We just had another amazing breakfast and now we're gonna pack our bags and head back home. I just wanna thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate it and we love to share more awesome experiences like this with you. And let us know where else you should go. We are really loving exploring and finding all of these spots that we never knew. It really is our favorite part of having a YouTube channel is connecting with people like Yanka and Andreas. And if it wasn't for YouTube, we wouldn't have met them and come to this place. Mm. Just seeing how friendly people are and how kind people are, that's really yeah. my favorite part, connecting with people. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Let's hit the road. Let's go. So I'll pack your bags and come to task to do Okay, delete. <laughs> Drama, basically. No, look at that. So, be. Hey! <laughs>